Once you've completed the car wheel, you're then ready to produce the car body. Click on New, make sure you're in metric, and go to Standard IPT. Double click. Click on 2D Sketch, left click on the XY plane, and there are the vertices ready to draw on. Now before we begin to draw, we just want to remind ourselves of the dimensions that the car has to be, or the constraints. So the length can be between 170 and 210, and the width is up to a maximum of 85 millimeters. We also need to remember we have this virtual cargo, this wedge-shaped piece, which is 40 by 60 by 80 at the front, and eight, 8 at the front and 8 thick. So just to remember, the length is between 170 to 110. I'm going to minimize that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to draw a line which is going to represent the length of the car. So I've clicked on line. And this is actually going to be the center line. So I don't want it to be an, an actual line. I want it to be a construction line. So click on construction. We can see it is highlighted. So when I draw this line in just from there to there, and then type in, I'm going to say, 200 press enter and there is my line and to bring it into view come over here put the cursor there and there it brings in use just to make it a bit smaller you can see how the line follows the cursor around you just press escape and it stops doing that straight away now the nose of the car is going to be on the left hand side the rear of the car is going to be on the right so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get out of construction by clicking that there. So now the next line I draw is going to be an actual line. So I'm going to draw a line there. Notice how I've drawn it so it actually goes past the front of the construction line. I drew. We'll trim that off in a moment or two. And I've drawn it so it's parallel to the, uh, the first line that I drew, to the, uh, the center line of the car. Again, the line is following, so I'll just click escape get rid of that, click on line again, and I'm going to do the same over the back here. Now, and escape. Now the line I've drawn at the back, I want that also to be parallel to the axis of the car, the center line of the car, but it's just gone a little bit out, but that's okay, because all we need to do is click on parallel, and we'll see it right. Click on the construction line, then go to the line that you want it to be parallel, and there, now those two lines are parallel to each other. And we'll just check that one and that one are also parallel. And it's got those little marks just to indicate that fact. Okay, so we've got now the length of the car. We've got its width at this end, its width at the, at the front end. We now need to put some dimensions on. So click on the dimension tool. Click once on the construction line. And although that, that dimension follows you up as you move it up, just ignore it. Then click and drag to the right, to that side. And remembering that the uh, the maximum width is 85, I'm going to type in 41. Oh, I don't quite got that. I just click on there. No. So I've left clicked, type in 41, click on the green tick, and there, that's right on 41. I'm going to do the same at this side. Yes, the dimension is still active. Click once. Click and drag to the left, left click, and this time I'm going to make this 15 wide, and green tick again there. Lovely. Now, what we need to do now is we need to have a nice smooth curve that joins the front and the back of the car together, a nice smooth aerodynamic curve. And so we can choose from a selection of lines, a spline which is control vertex, and a spline interpolation vertex and the easiest one to control is the control vertex you could use the other one but it is just a little bit more tricky now we'll go to the end of that line click once we're going to go up at a shallow angle first of all then a bit of a tighter angle and then another shallow angle left click and then click on the green tick okay and there's my line doesn't look very exciting though, so what you can do is, and this is where this differs from the interpolation spline, we can move that very easily, like that. Oh, missed it. Click on there. 
and like that so we can very quickly get a nice smooth sweeping curve which gives it a nice shape now to trim it off to the right length I need a line up here and a line coming up there so we're going to click on straight line tool and I'm going to click once and drag if you to the if you move it to the side you see you get it you do get uh, a center line there showing you exactly where perpendicular is press escape because that's following you around escape click on the line tool from there click up left click again that follows you around press escape and that's my shape done all I need to do is I'm going to get rid of these extra little bits by clicking on the trim tool click on the trim tool and we're going to get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that so now we've got a nice shape which hopefully is the correct size but we just want to check can we fit in this virtual cargo which is 40 by 60 by 8 wide at the front so imagine and imagine a, a center line running through there which means that part there is going to be 4 this part of the back is going to be 20 but it's still going to be 60 long if I can draw that onto the shape that I've got then everything is all in well so I'm going to click on line I'm going to click on construction again because I don't want this to form actual part of the drawing draw line up there open press escape escape and another line up here and escape in the dimension tool click and drag left click want this one to be 20 green tick uh, dimension tool click and drag to the left left click want this one to be 4 tick and the distance that we want these two apart is 60 so we're on the dimension tool click once click and drag left click type in 60 enter and there gives us the, the correct uh, sizes so I'm just going to click line again uh, make sure we've still got construction selected yes it is and I'm just going to click once and then click there and that is the uh, the half the shape uh, of the um, virtual cargo which fits in there very very easily what we need to do now is we now need to uh, make a mirror image of that so we shall click on mirror the first thing we do is going to select everything that we want the mirror image of so click on that then click and drag so that we'll put a marquee around all of the lines that we want um, making a mirror of then we're going to click on the mirror line so select mirror line and this is the line of symmetry that which is the first line that we draw on the construction line click that and nothing seems to happen except the apply line the apply uh, button is now highlighted so we can click on that and that gives us the um, the full image that we want and notice there's the virtual cargo sitting in the center there very very easily okay so then we can click done then what we're going to do is we're going to give that the green tick because that sketch is now finished we're going to click on best fit so that fits into there and then we're going to click on extrude extrude we're going to extrude this by 10 there it is happy with that click OK let's have a, fr a front image and let's zoom in a little bit and there we have the front image of our car now this may not be the best design because it looks actually quite big we might want to reduce it in size a little bit I don't know but what we have managed to do is to use all of those tools to produce a reasonable design and if you wanted to go on and produce another two or three designs and make it more streamlined and try to reduce the weight now at least we know how to go about it we're going to save it at this point so down arrow save as obviously this wasn't the first chassis that I've done so that's chassis 5 and this one will be chassis 6 I'm going to save that okay so that is my 6 chassis done